How can you sell to a small group of people without looking robotic? Or lessons I learned today from a door-to-door -door salesman. Hey, if you haven't met me before, my name is Ella Glasgow and I am the authority creator. And I help women and men in business to step out of the shadows and into their spotlight so they can speak with confidence without letting their fear of the mic get the best of them. So today, I thought I would bring you today's quick tip live. So it might go a little bit longer than we usually do, but stick with me because this just happened. I had a gentleman come to my door, knock, knock, knock. And I thought, you know what? I'm gonna go downstairs and see what this is about. And so I did, hi, how you doing? <laughs> so I went downstairs and met with the man uh, we'll give him no name, <laughs> but he was a salesman and watching him, I thought I would take a little bit of notes. I don't normally uh, judge people <laughs> when I'm talking to them. I promise that I don't, but I was actually doing research today and I was paying attention to how he was being at the door with me. Now, door-to-door -door sales, that's a hard thing to do. And when you're walking up on somebody for the first time, going up to their house, trying to sell them something, and you go in there like a robot, we're probably going to turn you off. So what are some typical signs of robot sales? You know that fake plastered smile? Yeah, that fake plastered smile and Number two, that robot head that articulates everything that you're saying. And then that tone of voice, there may be a tone of voice particular to you and I bet you have been told before that you've gone into a default. I'm not sure which one you're working with right now, but we all have a default that we fall to whenever we're doing something that's familiar or something that we are maybe have been gone going into a really long day about, we fall into our default. And it's not that it's, yeah, no, it's a bad thing. Don't go to the default, because here's the, here's the thing. You've gotta come out of default mode and get into genuine mode. And when I was with this guy, the cool thing was, is that there were moments, there were flashes that I saw his real self. They were short. It was a short moment, short burst in time, but I saw it. I saw it. And if he had come to me with authenticity, I may have possibly talked to him longer. Now, I didn't need what it was that he was selling, but... I was interested just to see what was going on because I know that this is happening for you sometimes as well, that people are getting turned off by maybe you're being a little bit inauthentic and it's coming across as robotic. So how can you get over this? Well, you need to start recognizing when you go into your default mode. And sometimes that's easier to do if you have somebody to watch you. Hey. I happen to be somebody that works with people and helps them see those pieces that may not be working for them and help them to turn into that authentic self so that you can inspire the people that you are talking to to take some action. So if you'd like some help getting out of robotic mode, then you can contact me. I'll leave a link in the description above so that you can get in touch with me and have a free 20 minute consultation with me, your Speak Your Truth Spotlight session. And we'll talk about what's going on with your voice and how you're presenting things in your business. That's all I've got time for today. I wanted to make this quick. I hope that was helpful for you and I'll see you next time. Stay real.